So I just got out of the shower and now it's time to start working on some of my stuff for finals next week. My hardest final is going to be my comparative one. So, you know, lots of highlighting in different colors. And so, yeah, I'll just keep you all updated and go from there. May the 4th be with you. I just finished my comparative anatomy review. Um, this is our final, and so I used three different highlight colors. So like the pink was for if it's like something I really need to know or if it's just kind of like a heading. Yellow is for vocab words, and then the blue was for if it was like a specific animal that we need to know about. So like we learned about the different ways animals stand on their toes, um, the different flight feathers, how to breathe. Um, the snake thing was really cool because I actually only have like one lung in some snakes. And then like with whales, they only use their left nasal passage as the blowhole. So that was really interesting to learn this semester. And then bird breathing is really complicated. We also learned about diving and just like the dangers of it. And then the different types of teeth. And then what um, the dental formula is, that one's going to take some practice, and it's how to calculate the number of teeth in an animal. So, like, we have the formula there, and then the top and bottom, and then he gave us an example using a deer. Um, the different types of teeth and, like, what the words mean. Um, and then my favorite chapter from this semester was the cryptozoology chapter. What that is, is, like, the make-believe animals, which is funny because my favorite animal is the okapi. And they used to think that was a fake animal until like 1901 when it got proven to be real. So then we have like the Black Panther, Bigfoot. I'm not really sure exactly what the Cappadorosaurus caddy thing is. Loch Ness Monster and Chupacabra, which is really cool because we're in Texas. So that's a thing that's supposedly real. Apparently people used to think humans walked alongside dinosaurs. The flying squid is a thing apparently that people think is real and a slea stack, which is like aliens and humans mixed together. So overall, it was a really good semester, and I'm thinking I'm going to do really good on my final, and I'm really excited, and I have a really good review, so I feel pretty proud. Studying to do some roulette, attempt roulette. I already learned I don't know how to play, so let's just look. I am headed to my first in-class final. This is pretty exciting. It is my stats final, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna be like 12 questions over the whole semester, but I did really well in this class this year, and I gotta make a 54 to get an A in the class, so let's make it happen. Finals checklist. Done. When you're stressed and need a back rub. <laughs> Paco Cam. He is here helping me not cry from finals. And he left. Okay. Okay, so second day of finals is done with almost. Um, I just had my comparative anatomy final, which I spent so many hours studying specific things. And I only think I missed like one or two questions, but on one of them, I'm just so mad because it's something I was like, oh, I know what it is. I'm sure everyone knows that feeling. But overall, I'm pretty positive I'm going to keep my A in the class, so that's really good. Study everything. That's the lesson of today. Study everything, even if you think you know what it is, because the thing you studied for 10 hours wasn't on the test. So yeah, I only have one more final, which is just dropping off a piece of paper, and then I'm done for the day, and then just straight MCAT and Darwin studies. Okay, back to the finals checklist. <laughs> Woo! The weather for finals is pouring, so yay. Another final down. Boop.
Ooh. Final check. We're done.